Okay, having seen an example of insertion, let's go through a sketch of the actual algorithm in general. It'll look pretty much like what we just did. The first step is to find the correct leaf on which to insert the new data item, and that's going to be uh, done through the typical search algorithm. Then, if there's room for the data item on that leaf L, we're, we're done. If there isn't room, then we're going to split L into L and a new node, L2. We're going to redistribute the entries that were on L along with the new data entry uh, across L and L2 in order. And we'll copy up the middle key, which is the smallest key on the right hand side, as a new index entry to be inserted above. That index entry is going to point to L2 and it needs to be inserted into the parent of L. Now this step of, in, of splitting and forming something to uh, insert above is recursive. So if the parent is full, we need to split the parent and so on. For interior index nodes, to split those, we do the same. We redistribute the entries evenly. But in this case, rather than copying up the middle key, we push up the middle key, as we saw in our example. Finally, if we have to split the root, that's the way we grow the tree. So splitting grows the tree. And when we split the root, the height of the tree increases. And note that all paths remain the same length. It's just that the paths from root to leaf are now one larger. Right? So the way that a B plus tree grows is most of the time it gets a little wider in the sense that we split some internal nodes, but sometimes it gets taller when we split the root. Okay, at the bottom here you can see before and after pictures for our insertion of 8 in this example. And you'll notice that the root was split, which increased it from a height 1 tree to a height 2 tree. And note again that you grow the tree by splitting the root, so it grows upwards at the root rather than growing downwards at the leaves like a lot of in-memory trees do. Um, by growing upwards at the root, we guarantee the tree is balanced. All paths from the root to leaves are always the same length. Right? And the key to the B plus tree's guarantee of log search is that all paths are always the same length. Now does our occupancy invariant hold? Yes, all nodes except the root are at least half full. And you should in fact be able to prove to yourself that our split algorithm on insertion is going to guarantee the occupancy invariance. The proof technique I'd recommend if you want to go do it is proof by induction. Let's look a little more closely just to review at how we split a leaf node. So we start with a full leaf node. It's got two D entries and our little pictures here, D is going to equal two. We're going to add a two D plus first entry, eight star. And then we're going to split that into leaves with D and D plus one entries, copying the key up to a new parent index entry entry. Now, why are we copying the key up in the case of the leaf node? Well, it's because of what we said about B plus trees being special B plus trees, all the data entries remain in the leaves at all times. So five star here has to remain in the leaf level to, for it to be a B plus tree. But the value five is also going to be in an index entry above for routing searches. So we copy that five up. Now when we get to an inner node, if we need to split that, again, let's review this. We'll start with a full interior node with two D entries. Again, in this picture, D equals two. We add a two D plus first entry. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna split that interior node into D and D plus one entries and push the key up to the parent. So in this case, we don't copy it. We push it up to the parent. And uh, that's how we do a split. And now we should have D entries on the left and D entries on the right. Why do we push and not copy in the case of splitting? Well, it's because this routing key 17 doesn't need to be in the child. It wasn't serving any purpose there. Uh, notice that the occupancy invariant does hold after the split. If you uh, found this uh, maybe not enough detail for you, there's a great animation online of B plus trees at the link here in the slides. There's one small difference in that online resource, um, which is worth noting. When they delete the leftmost value in a node, they update the parent index entry to match the new leftmost value. And that's unnecessary, actually. That is an extra write of the parent that's really not required. We don't do that in our algorithms, but it's not uh, important detail. 